The Sinistrals, four masters of doom, arrived in this land on their floating island 100 years ago. You will begin your quest by traveling through time to join in a tremendous battle against them and you will determine the outcome. When you return to present time, you and Lufia, your companion, must join forces with two others to prevent the Sinistrals from regaining control of your world. It will be a long and difficult task. The land is larger than that of most RPG games, and in the end, the balance of fate will be overturned in a contest of love and betrayal that could destroy you all. And this is Lufia and the Fortress of Doom, developed by Neverland, published by Taito, released in 1993. And when they say, oh boy, this is going to be a long and difficult task, they ain't kidding. Uh, here's the thing with Lufia. I let's played it. I think it was requested by somebody. Um, I don't like it. Did not like Lufia. I think, and, and I've played some pretty kind of archaic looking and archaic feeling RPGs, but this goes a little too far. I, I liked the way the game starts, though you have to, if you sit through the intro before you start the game and then start the game, you have to sit through the intro again. So that's great. Um, I, I don't much care for the battle system. I don't much care for the graphics. Uh, the box art is horrible. You saw that. Um, <clears throat> what, what I think could have been a really good, solid, almost like homage to older RPGs like Final Fantasy, I, I feel like let me put it this way. When Mega Man 9 came out, everybody was really excited. I was really excited, and then I played it, and it felt more like somebody told somebody else what Mega Man was like, and so they tried to make a game like that. That's what Lufia feels like to me. Somebody told somebody what an old-school console RPG was like, and they tried to make that game. The encounter rate is way too high. The dungeons are just slogging, and the story isn't interesting enough to make me want to play it. But I did! Let's play it. I finished it. I had a terrible time with it. You can see it uh, there happening, and there's like five games in this series. Did you know that? Crazy. Um, but I'm the only person, apparently, who didn't who didn't absolutely love this game. Uh, Dragon gave it three out of five. EGM gave it almost an eight out of ten. Famitsu gave it twenty-eight out of forty. GamePro gave it a 4.5, Nintendo Power gave it a 4, Electronic Games gave it a 93%, Game Players 9 out of 10, RP Gamer 8 out of 10, RPG Fan gave it an almost a 90 out of 100. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I feel like it could have been better. It, it was a big letdown for me. Uh, mostly just, it, it just needed, I guess, a rebalance. Really would have made it made it a little better and what else annoys me about this is the year that this came out it was the runner-up to secret of mana for best role-playing game of the year and that this game was even considered in the same vein as secret of mana that upsets me that is a way better game than this